So we're going to do a little practice petal. Right here, I just want to see why my table is so funny. Yes. Okay. So let's just stop that from moving. Let me just see if it's in view again. Yep. So practice little petal here. And I'm going to just use some of my pinks that I have here on my plate. Clean them out. There's a whole bunch of colours that I like in here. On here. Um... one of these and I'm going to use my little comb memory brush very watery very tea so you want a tea mix of alizarin crimson and I'm just going to drop it in and then rinse my brush and push it around to soften those little water markings Again, the water very watery mixes. Now, I want to be careful with this paper because it's not a paper that it's from Stillman and Burn, it's a little sketchbook, but it's not the best uh, for scrubbing, I find for me. And then I want to leave this highlighted section light. So I'm going to leave the paper light and then pick up a bit more of that alizarin crimson and just drop it in here and then just pull it to soften it and then some more darker mix on the tips here. Very watery and then lift it out. Push it to the edge edges there. Okay, I'm going to take my brush with a very fine tip now. It's a bit of the paint grey mix in there from yesterday. And then I'm just going to just tiny little soft little veiny lines. My paper's still a bit wet, but I want it to be very soft. That's very wet still. So I'm just going to wait for it to dry. Drop of the paint grey mix. 
So I do soften this little section here. So that will make it look like there's a little fold, a deeper section. Remember dark, push back, light brings out. So I want to create that little section there. And then just yeah. On that part and a bit more on here. And then make it look like it's like a shadowy section there. Okay, to leave that to dry. Again, just darkening these little sections here pushing it so looks like there's a little folding there leave it to dry okay so I'm going to draw in another little petal let me see if I'm recording yes and we'll go we'll leave that to obviously dry and then go back in with a darker layer later so let's draw in one of those little buds. Um, just a quick little sketch. It's nice about this, I can turn the book around, but if I need to. See the little lines. So again, wetting this with my brush, and now I want quite a brightish pink. Drop it in on the section here. Okay, I'm going to go with a brush with a smaller tip. from my sneaky work I said because this is just a practice that we are painting and practice painting so this is like a paint gray and we want to wait this little section I'm going to leave it to dry a little bit because the paper is a little bit different again from the other papers that we use normally mix a drop of that yellow in there like a yellow green mix and then just on the edges and just move that little hair take it in and drop it in Side. Ok, 
Okay. And I'm going to keep my paint spray close by. I want to just darken that little part there. Push it in to soften it. We don't want a hard, hard lining. So I'm just softening the line a little bit, dabbing it on my tissue paper, pushing that paint in. Okay. All right. I'm gonna go in again with this yellow, a bit more of the yellow mix. Just dripping it in in the center, keeping it very light. There you go. So, just a, a lizard red mix that I have here. little petals there that side there darkening it there and softening those little petals okay this side there's like a very dark little paint pot there with your brush not wet it just wipe it on your paper and I'm going to pull it to there and then pull 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 pushing it towards the center of that part because I want to soften it completely okay a bit more of a darker mix just to go in while it's still wet and soften it more of that mix Right over there. And then just wait to brush. Okay, so I quite like how that turned out. Take a brush with a very fine tip and going to paint in fine little veins and I want it the veins to be very very fine so just take your time and follow the shape of the petal very important you follow the shape of the petal. Going to wait for it to soak in a bit, stain. I'll go in and paint some more of that in. I went like a brown, so I'm just going to use like yellow ochre and burnt sienna. I'm going to take a touch of the green and just on the edges. that in leave that to dry again the same on this side just on those tips so it's a very very little bit of the paint spray that I mix just to create those little markings we can sometimes see on an apple blossom 
little petals. On this side at the bottom. We'll soften it later, let it just soak in properly. And there you go. More of a thicker consistency. Okay, we need to leave that to dry. Again, go in with this light paint gray mix here. Just want to darken that. Take my other little brush that's clean and just scrub it and push it. We don't want that dark line to stay there, so I'm softening it. Just to create that darker little part there. Again, and soften it. Soften it again. I want some of that green. More of the green. Okay. Okay, that brown and to make this look make it look like this little petal is also folded over and just soften as all paint markings brushes down here I want to make a mix of like a between cream so it's a bit darker and now the paper is much drier and just there I want to dab in dab in some of that color I'm going to wet my brush dry it on paper make sure it's dry so there's not water on there and then wiggle it and pull it back if you have too much pigment on your brush just wipe it off that's all you can do is wipe it off and then this little section here wipe it on tissue paper lift it out a bit more in here darken it rinse your brush and soften those lines make sure there's not a lot of water on your brush okay and this section two now I want to go back and just darken it again just these little edges and then dry your brush on tissue paper just go like this we can just dab it and just lift out some of that excess there. So that is one of the little apple blossom uh, little buds that we have. And I'm going to finish this one here. So for this I'm going to do very, very watery, literally like this very watery mix on my brush. And I'm just going to go in and soften these little sections. Wipe my brush on tissue paper and then move it around. We want this soft little line there, not too hard. 
And while it's wet, uh, sorry, dry, I just rub out my little pencil lines while I can. Because with certain watercolors, you can still get rid of most of your pencil lines. Careful, the paper tears very quickly, especially in this book. Not the strongest paper. My little brush. pink and just dab it in go up to the top and rinse your brush in clean water and just softly move it on the side there now you can see that this paper can't take a lot of scrubbing even though I haven't even scrubbed yet just a lot of movement it can't really do that don't know why it's really not the best paper but it's like a tiny little scrubber gonna just testing these little petals just a bit of paint grow my brush too and then wipe your brush and soften it so make sure it's clean okay I'm going to just drop some of that beautiful pink on the bottom here let it soak in the paper. I'll soften it now. And then again here too. And then just in certain places where you want little folds in the petals. I want there. And then I'm going to take my brush and just wiggle it to soften those markings. to leave that to dry for a second and then some of the yellow ochre mix here and I'm just going to go in here and dab some on the wait for it to soak in a second and then Lift out the excess. Okay. I'm gonna paint in all of those tiny little markings here now. darker little section on here wait for it to soak in the paper let's do that there you go and We'll do another little petal 
and then I'm going to design the whole little thing. So let's do one that is sort of folding over, and that's like this. Right. Okay, I'm going to wet the paper. Not too much scrubbing, because like I said before, this paper doesn't like a lot of scrubbing. And I'm just going to dab it in on the edges there. And leave it. Just to dry. And then if you want to soften these little lines you can later on because they're completely dry now. <coughs> but you don't have to if you don't want to. Alright, low chain. Okay, so now I'm going to Makes a very dark mix again, so quite thick, but I'm going to move it all over my palette like this so that I can determine how much I want on my brush. And then rinse it, move it, and then just one soft little strokes. This paper is very wet still, but it will just create a very soft effect on those little lines that we're painting in which is sometimes much nicer so we don't have to worry about too many little lines that are too hard that we can have to soften later okay Just soften them softly. Going to drop some more color in at the top there. Lovely soft little petals. Beautiful pink apple blossoms. Quite proud of those. So now I'm going to design the whole blue flower and then we will paint it. So I'm going to just paint another little one here. Let's sort of see if I can get one. create some folded little petals so like that um it's a little bit too square When it's a little bit bigger, than the other one, 
and also the colors are much softer I'm going to keep it very very soft the paper is wet and white it will create a soft indent there just to show that there is paint on the paper because the paper is white we need to put some color on otherwise it's going to be a complete white section leave that to dry and now I'm going to just soften these outside petals. For this, I'm not going to worry too much about the pencil lines because obviously I need to show you what I'm going to do. So I will leave most of it there. And then I'm going to leave a little highlighted section at the top there. And just painting this little fold. Drop in a bit of the grey just so that we can show that there is um, something on the paper. Stop moving. like a very thin brush and I'll show you we're going to soften all these little lines at a later stage very thin little strokes if you're too scared to draw them or paint them in just leave them out they will make a little bit of a difference. There's just a few. And you can always go back immediately and just wipe it out with water on a brush if they you're not happy with them. Still a bit light, so I'm just going to drop some on the edges there. Okay, see little darker little sections we want to drop in right on this side. with that. I'm going to leave this to dry now. Um, 
I'm thinking of painting in another little bud here. So, let me move my book like this. shape like this and then we just paint in those little folds and then maybe like an open petal like here when that's really opening folding open just like that okay my colors and I'm going to wet the whole petal, all of them, the bud and the petal. And I'm just going to drop in some of the colors where I want this very light pink color. And then where I want the lighter section, so I'll just leave it light. can see how little paint I use for this literally so little you don't need a lot of your paint okay leave that to dry for a second now we can rub out all of these little pencil lines but they quite make the flower because it's so light so petals and this one is a little bit too light, so I'm just going to go back in there and drop in a bit more paint grey. Just a drop might be too much now. So I'll just move it around. Yep. I think that should be enough. Just take it down there. And... go if it's too light later we'll go back and just darken it a bit more I want to just make a difference between these two make it look like there's a different petal you know so it's a bit darker just a very watery tea mix of paint gray more leave that to dry okay on this side take it to the top there and wet it and soften it and pull it to soften that little line because it just soaks into the paper such a staining watercolor and just put it towards the the side of the the down and then wait for it to dry and then leave it and then I'm just going to pull it with water on my brush on this side I'm going to go yeah bit too much color but we're going to soften it very quickly with my brush Dark to be dark, 
and then I'm going to just softly lighten this one with my brush and then I'm going to put a drop of the grey mix on there okay and then yeah to because the paper is so white again my brush just pull some of that out and now I'm going to just while it's still wet paint in some of those tiny little soft little petals okay and on the side back with a darker mix there and then I'll just soften it with my brush Just go from there. Okay, quite happy with all of these little petals, and I mean to design our beautiful little apple blossom petals, and then we'll take it from there.